Each person has a number of cliches and storytelling devices that grate on their nerves and affect how they see a movie as a whole. For example, I've never been fond of the whole misunderstanding cliché, which often pops up in comedies. However, one device I sometimes see to write it that I don't have a problem with is the so-called liar revealed. These usually involve the lead protagonist telling a fib, and then once everything is revealed, the other characters get upset at them. For some, this ruins the whole story. Not so for me, and I'm going to explain why using a few examples. In Rango, the title character arrives in the town and creates a made-up story about what a tough hero he is. He is then made sheriff, and we see the title chameleon improvising and thinking on his feet as he tries to handle the town's water shortage and the threat of a giant rattlesnake on the horizon. You know, eventually the truth will come out, because this is basic storytelling. If the lead protagonist tells a lie in Act 1 that has a major effect on the plot, then the lie logically has to be discovered at the end of Act 2 or beginning of Act 3. In Rango, the whole idea is that he sees himself as an actor and plays this role in order to survive in what he sees as a rough community. And then, over the course of the story, he becomes just as much a part of the town as the old-timers there. There is a level of trust that's developed, so you need that to be broken, since Act 3 traditionally has a character or characters at their lowest point. In Rango, it's also important that he's then separated from everyone else, so he can have his epiphany and gain the courage to return and defeat Rattlesnake Jake. Speaking of Rattlesnake Jake, another important element in the Lie Reveal plot device is the need for a threat hanging over the story. Why are the townspeople of Dirt upset that Rango is not this brave hero? Because it adds a sense of doubt after Rango initially makes it seem that things will turn out well in the end. The problem of the town lacking water and the snake terrorizing the land remains. It's a similar deal with Chicken Run. Throughout that film, the chickens believe Rocky the Rooster will teach them how to fly and he can help them escape the farm. The story escalates the need to escape further when it's revealed the chickens will be turned into pies if they don't. Rocky not being able to fly is revealed in quite a brilliantly stayed scene. Chicken Run also does the lie revealed sequence a little differently than other films, by not having Rocky present when the chickens find out, so they're left by themselves with their own thoughts. The film shows quite clearly how they viewed Rocky as their last hope, after so many previous attempts failed at getting them out of the Tweety's farm. That's why the chickens are so upset and are at their lowest point for the next few minutes. A Bug's Life also went for an interesting approach in tackling this device. When Flick and the circus insects land on Ant Island, both sides are under mistaken assumptions. Flick and the circus insects pretending they're warriors only comes up later, when both parties discover the truth and decide to keep up the perception. This lie lasting for so long is also important to the plot, as the longer they think the insects can fight the grasshoppers, the less the ants work at collecting the food. When everything is revealed, it's notable this happens before the ants have defeated the grasshoppers, and the ants begin fretting. Their worst nightmare is likely coming, so of course they get upset at Flick, as the film establishes at the beginning that the colony has a low opinion of him and his schemes. That's one of the most important elements of the Lie Reveal device, that the main antagonistic force has not been stopped or defeated yet, so it appears nothing good has been gained from the fibs told by the lead character. And this was recently showcased quite well in the new Netflix film, The Prom. This movie was only released a month ago, so just a warning, I'm going to spoilers. So if you want to watch The Prom and don't want anything spoiled, skip to this point in the video. Anyway, The Prom centers on a group of narcissistic Broadway actors who go to a small town as a publicity stunt. The actors rally around a teenage girl named Emma, who just wants to take the girl she loves to the school prom. But this is mostly an attempt to make them look good. At two points in the film, their ruse is revealed. The first is right after a particularly heartbreaking moment, when Emma is invited to a fake prom, while all the other students are at the real prom. The school principal finds out the actor's real intentions for supporting Emma, and is understandably upset. Why? Because they have not done a single thing to help the situation and created a false hope. Later in the story, when a second prom has been put together, the actors finally reveal to Emma why they went to her town. But because the conflict has appeared to have been resolved, and she will finally get to have her prom, she's not upset and is happy they came. I imagine her reaction would have been a lot more negative if she had found out the truth the same time as the principal. 
Now, is there an example of the Lie Reveal device that does not work for me? Well, one that immediately comes to mind is in Madagascar 3. In the film, the zoo animals say they're circus animals, so they can get on a circus train. They assume control of the circus, and then, using their showmanship skills, turn it from a failing enterprise into an enormous success. They also boost the morale of the circus troupe while they're working with them. They eventually learn Alex, Marty, Gloria, and Melman are not actually circus animals, and get upset about this. So why did this bother me? Well, unlike A Bug's Life, Chicken Run, and the other films I mentioned, the main problem facing the circus troupe has been resolved. The circus is now popular, and there is no more fear of closing the show down. At this point, who cares if they're zoo animals? They help you in more ways than one, and at no time did their little lie negatively affect you. The circus animals should also clearly see that the reason they lied in the first place was to get away from the crazy animal control lady pursuing them. They come to their senses not long afterwards, but it still feels like an unearned attempt to separate the characters for a bit. Now your other question might be, what makes the misunderstanding worse in my mind than the lie revealed? Well, the misunderstanding just comes across as contrived and happens due to characters not stopping and actually talking with one another. It also involves everything falling exactly into place in the most coincidental way possible, like someone walking into a room at the wrong time, or someone overhearing a conversation and only picking up the worst parts. You can sense the screenwriters pulling the strings, a feeling I don't get with the liar reveal device. The other thing is that until a number of years ago, I did not even realize this was a commonly used trope. The character arcs in Chicken Run, Bugs Life, etc. did not jump out as similar to me, nor did the execution of said arcs annoy me. It was not until a comedian online kept ranting about it over and over and over again that I learned this was a trope that annoyed people. Then out of the woodwork came others talking about how they hate it too. But that should further give a hint why it's never bothered me. A lot of stories involve that point in the first act, where the main character makes a decision, oftentimes the wrong one. Because if they make the right and true decision, then you don't have a movie. If the story requires the protagonist to lie, whether it's to cover up a blunder or for their own safety, the truth needs to come out at some point. This is a perfectly acceptable storytelling device, and it's understandable why writers and filmmakers continue to use it. See you next time.